I could not not get this for the monthly spread for October. It's very farming themed tractor, wagons, um, scarecrow, and then all sorts of things that are made. I'm pretty sure this is for the 7x9, fostering my budget. So, October holidays, which is cool. Some Bill Do stickers, some sampler dots and then some different labels habit tracker so let's jump in to the month of October one at a time we'll get this thing going here Alright, so this is supposed to cover up the days of the week because it gives me the days of the week. So I want to cover up the days of the week, but not the numbers. There's an art to that for sure. And I very much, huh, and I still didn't cover them all the way up. That's okay, we'll cover it with that. Sunday. Okay, then we're, I'm just going to pop in here for a few more things to put a couple more stickers. On here, maybe. <laughs> then again, maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to put Happy Fall, y'all, up here in the top right corner. That's left. So we're just going to ignore that I did that. And then, <laughs> woo, um, and this one just, but like, just mainly because it's funny. <laughs> like, I don't even, I'm not, I don't even, okay, so I am the, the person who doesn't, like, I don't really care for pumpkin flavored things. I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkin fluff. I don't, none of those things. I don't drink pump, pumpkin drinks. So as far as that kind of stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, it's apple cider and all of that kind of stuff is, is really my jam. However, I love the smell of pumpkin stuff. So you will catch me. My senses are loaded already with pumpkin, delicious pumpkin-y smells. Because <clears throat> though I don't like the way it tastes, I do enjoy the scent. So whatever spices your pumpkin. So that is how I'm going to have my um, a couple more things that I want to put uh, in here in my monthly plan. Whoops. All right, as we go in here, let's zoom in. I will be going on vacation or on my little trip this day so that's the day I'll be flying out and then I thought I would put a travel day as I'm there 
air. And then I'm coming home that day. We have two weekends in October of football left for my son. It is Halloween. It is also my sister-in-law's birthday on Halloween, which I always think is kind of cool. Um, on this particular um, sheet from Jude Ann Designs, her holidays, it has Indigenous Peoples Day. So overall, I'm trying to kind of get a handle. I, I don't know how much I showed. I mean, I flipped through it a lot, but I've got a lot on this. Um, the September monthly and it's all feels very um, duplicated so I don't really want that here for October I want some of the bigger things some of the out of the ordinary things um, but beyond that I'm not putting every appointment and that kind of stuff on here I'm gonna put breast cancer awareness month that's of um, fostering my budgets um, has is there like a label I can put that on not real okay well maybe um, because some of these holidays I already have, but I, I mean, I don't know. I don't like talk a, a whole, whole lot about it on here. Um, but my mom is a two time breast cancer survivor. So in some, in some light, in some way, I've kind of sort of resigned myself to that being my future. And I have no reason to think that because she did not test positive for the BRCA gene. So I have not, they won't test me without a reason because she did not test positive for it. So apparently it's supposed to be some kind of fluke. <clears throat> but anyway, that is a near and dear to me. Um celebration I do have my pink ribbon tattoo I got that years and years and years ago uh, shortly after my mom's first first breast cancer diagnosis um, not shortly after it was shortly after I turned 18 and started getting all of my tattoos I'm going to put which was after my mom's first diagnosis and before her second one her second diagnosis um, her second cancer diagnosis came 10 days, no, uh, five, six, seven, three days, three days, um, after she buried my dad unexpectedly. So when you sometimes look around and you're like, what is this for real? Like, is this, is this real life right now? Yes, it is. It certainly is. <sighs> Life can just be real funny sometimes. And I'm, uh, I don't have a good no, I don't have a great um, sticker for what this is going to be this particular day, so I'm just going to put meeting. I'm going to a, a conference, I guess. Sort of. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put these birthday stickers are super little, so I'm going to put these little birthday gifts on both sides of it just to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, I really should have made that a different color, but that wasn't, hadn't necessarily been my plan. So I'm going to put this on here. Um, so I'm traveling that day. I'm going to this conference that day. And then this day is a a little bit of a travel road trip day, and then that is the day I am flying back home. So that is me noting kind of those big things, and that looks like my month. All right, so I have another meeting, like a PTA meeting. So in my whole life, My family is in my original nuclear family, my parents and my brother. We have never done professional family photos. And my husband and his 
parents and brother, their last family picture, both my husband and his brother were still in high school. And I shouldn't, I, I would have to say that because like when my husband was a senior in high school, his brother would have been an eighth grader. So for my husband to have been in high school, his brother would have been in middle school yet. So it has been a minute, right? Since either of these families have taken family photos. And this year, they're both happening in the same week. So... I am already panicking because, not because of the pictures, I don't really care about the pictures, but coordinating outfits. I have no idea how to do that. It is not my strong suit. And it isn't even just like my family of five that I'm coordinating. For this, it's like my family of five and my mom and my brother. So I will probably have to coordinate everyone's. Like, it will probably be based off of what my kiddos have available. And I don't even know how we're going to do that one. But I'm not orchestrating those. So I'm going to kind of, you know, take directions and do what I'm told. But in any case, I will have to dress my family of five for two sets of family photos in the same week after having basically never having to do it as an adult um, other than like with my kids, which is just a little bit different than adding an extended family. Not to say that there's still not challenges with it or whatever, but it's just a little bit different because when it's my family, I'm like, well, if, if I don't like them, it's just me that gets impacted, right? Like nobody else cares or it doesn't matter, um, but this is impacting a much larger group of people depending on whatever, and my family is the, the, the brunt of both of those, um, you know, like... There'll be nine people in these pictures and I make up, my family makes up five of those nine and there'll be seven people here and my family makes up nine of the seven of the, nine, five of those seven. So that's always a little, <laughs> for me it's unnerving because it's not my strong suit at all. But we shall survive. All right, that is what I have for the month of October.